Hi, I'm Heath Shear, pastor of the youth ministry and children's ministry at Calvary Chapel. And I'm Allie Shear. And we just wanted to share what we're doing with the youth group and what is going on with our youth here at Calvary Chapel. One of the key things that I just really want to impress upon our youth here at the youth in our youth ministry is that they are the future of this church. They are the future body of Christ. And one of our goals, although can be challenging at some times, is to treat them as the future of this church. We don't want to water down the teachings. We don't try to simplify it. We give the same teaching that they're going to receive in the uh, Sunday morning sanctuary, but more on a personal level. They're able to ask more questions, get more involved, because they have a lot more questions than you think they would, which is great. Um, being able to really dig in, even if it's just two verses a week, and really nail down those two verses. And just in the, what, um, three months that we've been doing it, Sunday mornings, watching these kids grow and really expand on their knowledge of the Bible and their maturity in Christ has been amazing to see. Yeah, and that, that is the goal, to raise mature Christians because eventually they will be the Sunday morning congregation. They will be the pastors, the worship leaders, the prayer ministry. They are the future of this The church. youth group leaders. Yes. Can't. <laughs> yeah. One, one of these kids very well be take my job eventually. <laughs> so we just really want them to get a good understanding before they're out there and that way they not only do they understand it but they can help others understand it and and this is a very personal mission for myself and Allie we're the polar opposites when it comes to an upbringing I was in the church at this pivotal age and Allie wasn't and one of the frustrations I had being in youth group growing up was it was it, some youth groups felt like just a step up from the children's ministry. They still watered down the message. They still treated us as kids, just more capable children. And that's not what I want with our youth. I want them to understand they are the future adults. We're going to start treating them like that. So with that being our future, we also really want to encourage them to have not just faith-based friendships, but it's important to have those faith-based friendships. So we give them the word just as they would get it Sunday morning, Sunday evening, Wednesday evening, but then uh, they do still get to have fun. We're not just sitting back here lecturing for an hour straight. It's We're giving them the word, we're asking questions, talking about it, and then they're building their friendships back here. There, we've done um, a camp out. We tie dyed shirts. We just did bowling coming up. We have the uh, citywide scavenger hunt. So having those faith based friendships allow them when they have questions about Jesus. When at some point they may question the, their faith, and they will have friends who know. Jesus and who they feel comfortable turning to to talk about those with, those issues with. And so that that's what, in the end, it's all following the same goal that we're building the body of Christ. They're building that family relationship with one another. So that, let's face it, as a kid, you don't always want to turn to an adult with a question. You may want to turn to your peers, and we want strong, mature Christian peers among them. And speaking of strong Christian peers, we actually do want to share with you some of the testimonies of our youth group. And so we're going to have a few of, few of the members actually share what they've experienced, what they've learned, what they have to say, and what want to share about their faith. I think, and I've never felt so safe with Jesus Christ with me. 
I moved down to Missouri about a year and a half ago. Since then, I believe my life has changed being in church. I believe this Calvary Chapel has been one of the best churches I've gone to. And it is, I'm able to actually understand what they're teaching and relate to what they've been teaching both in service and in youth group.